Damo, some news emerging out of Arden Street surrounding uh, their coach, Alistair Clarkson. What can yeah, you tell us? Yeah, look, he's been away for six weeks, Sam, on the mental health uh, leave that he took himself. Five of those weeks have been matches and, and also the buy. And what I can tell you tonight is that people close to Alistair Clarkson are now convinced that he, he will return and that return could be as soon as the next fortnight. Um, how it looks and how it plays out for both Alistair Clarkson and the North Melbourne Footy Club is, is yet to take shape. But we see matches there against uh, Adelaide upcoming, Geelong, Hawthorne and then beyond that, St Kilda. I would expect him to come back, Sam, um, in, a, in, a, uh, in an ease himself back way. Um, two to three days a week maybe for that first week, a little bit more the second week, and then probably not coaching the team in his own right again until beyond that Hawthorne game. And I say the Hawthorne game, which is three matches away, there was a reluctance from Alistair to, to, to promote the game they played against Hawthorne back in round three this season, and I'd be surprised if he wanted to subject himself to being coach again at that stage with that game so close on the calendar. But there's, it's almost a guarantee now that he will be back coaching in his own right at some stage before the completion of the, the 2023 season. And as, as I said, inside the next fortnight is my belief when he would come back into the club. Is that right, Lloydie? Is that the right decision from uh, the club? I, th I think it is. Uh, I, it's, it's like a player, I suppose, who... I remember Charlie Kerno, for example, very different, but uh, someone said, should you bring him back or shouldn't you? I think it would be great for Alistair to get a taste of it again before the season is over. Um, you know, I know that the pressures will be straight back on him again, in a sense, but uh, when they've lost 12, 13, 14, 15 in a row, I think it's not a bad time to come back with a month ago. But yeah, he's and more experienced than anyone. It, look, from what I've been told, and from what I can gather, the, the dialogue has now been opened up pretty significantly with him and the, the club. Um, I, I believe Sonia Hood has had multiple conversations with him now that the chairperson of the club, those are conversations, I believe, have been unfolding this week. And again, I expect the club at some stage of the next, you know, two days to a week to, to, to make these plans clearer than, than what they are right now at this point in time. But they are, they are really keen, though, now that he is. And he's done a lot of work behind the scenes in the recent days, weeks, about looking back into the, the footy side of it, the footy tapes that, that uh, he goes through. That, that's what I was going to ask, Damo. Yeah. Yeah, when, when you step away, and I know he's stepped away to have a break, but you, you mentioned he, he's had constant conversations with officials and people involved in the football. Re recently, only recently. Yeah, only yeah. recently. Yeah. But uh, has he had a look and what he wants to put around him when he comes back? Is there going to be a change in the football? department? Again, from what I can tell from the outside looking in, he's, he couldn't be happier with what Brett Ratton has done. There's a close relationship there and, and Brett has basically taken his football plan and, and executed it his way. So there hasn't been a great deviation off that. I'd expect uh, those initial days of Alistair being back at the club for, for Brett still to be in charge of game day and, and match day and the build up to the, the first two or three weeks of, those, of that return. It is genuinely sad that we're now having a discussion around you know, Alistair avoiding the game against Hawthorne. You know, this is... And for me, Damo, this runs a lot deeper than the Hawthorne racism investigation. I mean, th that's kind of overshadowed, and quite rightly overshadowed, mm. the fact that the club, the board, basically played a game of contractual chicken mm. with their four-time premiership coach, yep. lost it, and there is, there is such dissent towards each other from both parties that... I mean, watching Sam Mitchell last night, Jimmy, I'm not sure if you noticed it, you're probably concentrating on, on far more important things. Damo, you were there. Sam Mitchell spoke so beautifully about his career and Alistair Clarkson's name wasn't mentioned. Yeah, it wasn't. And, and I, I fully respect Sam for, for, for oh, refraining totally. from it. I think, you know, for Sam in that moment last night to, to then mention that name in any way would have been going against what he was about. And I fully get that. But yeah, it was, it was, to me, it was evident. You obviously picked up on it. Other people in the room did as well. And I, I just go back to that. I mean, you, you referenced the contractual chicken game yeah. that, that you refer. It's obviously the, the racism investigation, which forced him, Alistair, to stand down six weeks ago. Yep. Um, and, and obviously that that game being on the calendar now three weeks down the track, it, it, it just I'd be surprised if he's coaching back in his own right by that stage.